Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It was the vision of the late Don Sabang, who was a drug and alcohol supervisor at the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center, a peer support network for people in recovery. PIO, Garrett Duenas. They were able to afford that through a, a grant, the brass tax grant, and in October of last year was when the committee formed to actually just do all the think about it and setting up everything, do the articles of cooperation and the bylaws, and then in January, we became official. Togi in Chamorro translates to stand up or rise. Everybody that's involved within the organization is somebody who has been through um, some type of you know addiction in their life, whether it be from alcohol to substance abuse to illicit drugs and through uh, opioid prescription drugs uh, as well. But we have uh, you know averted ourselves through recovery, and in return we want to you know provide for others in that sense because who better to talk to and talk about you know getting help than to somebody who's been there. Jeremiah Santos, who serves as Togi's chairman, said he wanted to get involved with the organization when he saw how effective peer counseling was at New Beginnings. For Brad Drake, who is a secretary, peer support was vital to his recovery. I can honestly say without it, I don't know um, how it would have ended up, you know, um, because there are these people that I could totally relate to that have been through um, the struggles that do come with, with addiction and, and they've been down that path and they made it out. And uh, that just gave me a overwhelming, overwhelming sense of hope, you know. Peer specialist Benny Cruz isn't part of the Togi board, but he's been instrumental in all of their recovery. I was around. I was a client. I was under probation. We all just try to come together and help each other out because we all know what we're going, yes. going through. And for Vice Chairman Dean Tovez, as a client, he initially just joined Togi to fill an open spot. Come to find out, I, I was really good at it, you know, really good at it. Um, at helping out people, you know, really good at, at, at coming up with, with things to do for Togi. In fact, Tovez is currently going to school to become a substance abuse counselor. He says although Togi is still growing, the word is starting to spread about how good the group really is. When someone sees that one person that's working with Togi is doing really well, they end up, it ends up attracting another. Mm -hmm. And then when we have two people that are doing really well, we attract a third. And then we build, we build from there, you know, we, so then we build this, this massive support system. They acknowledge the hard work that the Mandania Drug Task Force and law enforcement has been doing to crack down on drugs and keeping it off the street. It's great that there's an enforcement side of it, and, you know, and working with, the, you know, to make sure that we, we cut off the supply and all that stuff, but we're not thinking about the rehabilitation of these people, you know. Uh, once they get arrested, what, are, what happens after? All are certified peer recovery specialists, which was made possible through training and education, courtesy of New Beginnings. We're certified to help others in recovery uh, and offer them counseling one-on-one, -on -one and, you know, in a, to a certain extent. So that's really what the focus is, is somebody who can relate to you and can help you uh, facilitate change in your life, can be open and honest with you, uh, can guide you, not in front of you or back of you, but by side by side. And that's, that's what we want to do as a, as a group and to help others. If you would like more information or would like to help assist in their mission, you can email togipscf at gmail.com. You can also like and follow Togi Guam on Facebook and Instagram. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfris. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.